Hi everyone, welcome back. For today's Manny, we're going to be creating a bright Manny using dip powders from Cosmic Nails. And now the star of the show, it's Kawabunga. This is a gorgeous neon chip glitter and it is stunning. So we're going to jump right into this Manny. We're going to start out with blue skies. Now this color right here, it is amazing. It is blue. It is everything. And check out that first dip here with the gel method. So what we're going to do today is we're going to dive into this color here. And then we're going to play with that beautiful glitter. So I will pop back in in just a little bit when it's time to dip into Kawabunga. Alright, so the moment you've been waiting for, it's time to dip into Kawabunga, so check it out. Isn't it gorgeous? It is bright, vibrant, and it is everything. Now, this glitter here, we're going to apply it just like we applied Blue Skies. We're going to be doing the gel method, and this glitter right here, it's so fun. These are kind of like clay pieces. They're really fun. They're a little bit thicker than regular glitter, but do not let that be intimidating because it does lay really flat to the nail here. You can see here that we're going to clean up those sidewalls and the free edge, and then I'm just going to press these uh, little pieces down here and then we're gonna go ahead and don't be alarmed if you don't pick up as many as you want We are gonna go ahead and do a second dip But this is that first dip and you can already see that those pieces are laying really flat down to the nail Now if they're not don't worry because if you do file and buff into these it is a solid color through and through so you're not gonna like break into any of those glitters it's gonna stay true so if you are filing into that pink it's gonna stay pink if you're filing into the green it's gonna stay green so that's the really awesome part about these pieces here is that they are solid color through and through so you can really file and buff so if you're using dip liquids um, you could still get these to lay really flat but you can buff right into them so just another fun thing about these really cool glitters so again we are dipping into that other nail here i apply that gel base dipped it in and now we're just pressing down these pieces and they are just so fun to play with now the new barbie movie is coming out and when i was doing this manny it was screaming barbie now back in the day i had like this i think it was like a workout barbie and she had this outfit that was these neon colors just like you see here in kawabunga and it is totally giving me all those Barbie kind of vibes and I don't know I'm kind of I really want to see the movie like when it comes out and you can like watch it at home there's just something very nostalgic about this dip that is very like 80s 90s and Barbie all in one and I'm totally loving it so now we're gonna go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds and we're gonna brush it off and then we're gonna go ahead and I'm really giving a good scrub on this nail just to make sure everything is laying really flat and there's nothing loose so we're gonna go in with a second layer here of this beautiful dip so I'm applying that gel base to the nail now again when you're working with the gel base and dip liquids thin application is always the best um, so now we're dipping right into that cupcake liner and check it out we have tons of beautiful bright pieces here on the nail now trust the process here we're gonna do the exact same thing we are gonna clean up the sidewalls free edge and you would do the exact same thing if you're using dip liquids as well and then we're just gonna gently press down these pieces now if you're working with dip liquids you can press and move them around but when you're working with gels just have a really really light 
light touch so you're not disturbing that gel because you are going to be able to move these around way easier if you have more of like a rougher touch to it you're going to be able to move that around quite easily because that gel base is not cured versus if you are using dip liquids now it all depends on how fast your dry time is with your dip liquids as well just have a gentle hand when you are pressing these down but here it is it is amazing so you can really see cowabunga come to life with two dips versus one and it is just so fun and again it is really easy to work with it looks really scary I kind of stayed away from it for a hot minute and then I was like, I need to give this a try and I'm so happy I did because it was very, very easy to work with and I really like that you can really file and buff these down super flat and you're not going to break into these beautiful colors because these colors are everything, right? So fun. I feel like you could do some like really fun color blocking with these two and over, um, black would be really fun and even putting these under like a black light i just feel like it would be so glowy but here is the two dips we're gonna cure that for 30 seconds and then we're gonna brush it off and that is it for the application of kawabunga but it, it's so fun and gorgeous so now we're gonna file and buff and it was already laying really really flat to the nail so i am just gonna go ahead and clean up those sidewalls straighten them out in the free edge and just clean everything up and really that is all i had to do for filing and buffing because these were already laying super flat which i was shocked by and i just I love when things kind of just like fall into place and dip powders are easy to work with. That is just my preference and I love it so much. So that is all I had to do. We're going to brush off that dust there and check it out. Everything is laying so flat and cleaned up and I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the filing and buffing off camera on the other nails there. But then to seal in this beautiful glitter and anytime I'm working with a chunky glitter I will always go ahead and do a layer of gel base and cure that before I go in with my gel top coat a lot of times I do not finish up my manis with a layer of gel base first I go directly in to finish up my mani with a gel top coat right away um, but if you ever experience any flaking or peeling after you just go in with a gel top coat then always definitely go in with a gel base first and cure that and then go in with your top coat but I find that doing a layer of gel base over my glitters just helps it have like a really clean smooth finish and I really like the outcome that my manis look with the chunkier glitter but I went ahead and cured that top coat for 60 seconds and here's the finished mani tell me this isn't fun it almost looks like tie-dye it is so fun and it's giving me all those barbie vibes and i really like how it's paired with the blue it's just overall a really fun way to just incorporate these really fun glitters you can pick any colors for this honestly i think like a white accent nail with cowabunga would be amazing it would really just make all those colors pop and i just love the irregular shapes of this glitter it really gives the nail a lot of dimension i mean showing you right now on camera Camera is really not doing this press on set any justice because it is so amazing and beautiful up close in person but I really had so much fun creating this Manny and playing with Kawabunga. I am disappointed that I waited so long to play with Kawabunga though, I will have to say, because I was sitting on that for a hot minute, but I love how it turned out and it is perfect, especially for that upcoming hot weather season and that Barbie movie that I cannot stop thinking about. So I will go ahead and link everything that we use in today's video in that description box below, and I will see you all in the next upload.